Facebook Marketplace, do you ever use it? The other day, I bought some paint. I bought two litres of emulsion paint. It was white. And I took it home and I thought, I don't think I want to paint this wall after all. So I put it up on Facebook Marketplace for about 50% less than what I paid for it. The next thing, Mick Jagger, the very Mick Jagger, the singer from the Rolling Stones, contacted me through Facebook Marketplace. I'd imagine he'd just go and buy it himself because he doesn't even live locally. And I was wrong. Not only that, he didn't want to buy it. He wanted to exchange it for some magnolia paint that he'd bought. I might have said, well, fair enough if I'd wanted that particular paint, but I didn't. But more than that, his was a four litre and he'd used half of it, so it was already used. Wanting to make friends far and wide, I thought, okay, why not? So I invited Mick Jagger round to my place of work where he could bring his paint and exchange it for some other paint that I didn't even particularly want. Whilst he was here, we had a reasonably one-sided conversation, but at one point he did ask me what I do for a living. And I told him, I drive cars, I do car reviews. And I took a look at the car that he had there. I'll let you guess what it is because I'm not going to tell you. And I said, I could review that, do a really good video on it. And he looked at me and said, hmm, interesting. Then he happened to see my car, my rather colourful abomination of a Rover 25. And he said, that's interesting. I've seen that in a video somewhere. Yes, yes, you may well have done, I said to him. Yes, you may well have done. And he scratched his chin and said, I'm sure YouTube did a video on this. And I said, yes, yes, they did. Yes, they, as in three so far. At that point, I said, well, actually, Mr. Jagger, this is my car, and this car has appeared in many, many videos, and maybe you've seen one of those as well. Maybe you've seen this slightly eccentric beardy bloke running around this yard talking incessantly about this magnificently colourful car. And he said, no, don't think so. See ya. And he picked up my pot of brand new paint and bunged it into the back of his rather scruffy van and drove away. And he forgot to leave his behind. <laughs> that sounds like the natural end of this story, doesn't it? Well, it's not. Because the next day, he happened to message me again and said that the paint wasn't really quite enough. He wanted something else. Do you know what? I've got a music video coming up and we really fancy having that colourful car in there. Do you know who owns it? And I said, yes, yes, Mick, I own it. Would you like to use it in your video? To which he replied, yes, I would actually. If you could contact the owner for me and I'll make him an offer and I'll take it off of his hands for a couple of weeks whilst we film it and hopefully make a lovely, jolly good video with it. Speaking a bit like I might do. And I said, all right, Mick, no problem. I'll contact you later on. And so I did. I contacted Mick later on. About an hour later, I said, here's my number. Here's the man that owns the car. Speak to him. He's rather pleasant. He'll help you out. And it will only cost you some money. I said, brilliant. That's exactly what I need. So, within the hour, I had a phone call from a man called Mick Jagger, who said to me, hey up, is that the bloke who owns that Rover 25 that's all in different colours like? I said, yes, it is actually. That is me. Right, lad, he said, we could do with that car in a little video that we're making that involves one of our songs. The only trouble is we're looking for somebody who can do a little bit of dabbling on the classical guitar because because uh, our guitarists can't do that kind of thing. Would you happen to know anyone who can do that as well? And I said, yes, I do. Just so happens, not only do I have a rather colourful Rover 25 that you want in this video, but I also play classical guitar. How fantastic is that? Right then, he said. I want to be properly committed to this, so I'm going to send you some money right now. Give your bank details, and I'll send you a grand. No, I tell you what, make it two grand so that you don't go running off on me. And I did, and I never heard from him again. <laughs>